welcome back everybody uh, today is a uh, beautiful sunny spring well it's not spring yet but soon um it's actually uh saint patrick's day so i thought today i would like to do a spring irish landscape uh, this is very similar to what um, looks like in Ireland, where there's lots of rock and um, trees and moss, some tr streams. So I thought this would be a cool one to do. And they're not that difficult to do. So this is a beginner-friendly acrylic painting. So anyone can do this. Hi, Joan. So if you were with us last... Tuesday, we did this cute little teacup with some shamrocks and a bit of clover with clover flowers and did a, some stenciling on the teacup. And there is a downloadable reference photo and traceable that you can get if you're one of my members on YouTube or Patreon. And you can find the links down below in the description for that. So how's everybody doing? Gorgeous day today. Uh, last week we finished the cute little birds. Let me show you that here. Uh, still haven't put those together. These were the little birds that we did last week with the little uh, hedgehog and I, I was looking at it and I thought I forgot to put the hole in <laughs> for the bird so I, I'm gonna put that in and it's gonna be fairly simple it's just basically a little bit of shading and and uh, dark color so let's put that in while I remember it <laughs> And if you have a, a template, you could use a template of a circle, or you could just draw it in, whatever you want to do. Um, I think I have a template. I'm not sure. Well, this will work too. So let's put, I'm just going to take a pencil and draw the inside part of this. Cindy, good to see you. Kathleen, I see. Yes, happy St. Patrick's Day to you too. So who here is got some Irish in them? I do. My uh, ancestry goes back to Ireland. And uh, my maiden name was Heffernan, but they changed it when they came over. It used to be O. Heffernan. <laughs> and they took the O off. <laughs> so I think I'm going to do just a little bit of uh, probably a dark, nice dark brown just to outline it a bit. Let's see. Maybe I'll just use a marker. Um, see what we got here. Yeah, I got a marker. Paint marker. I'm 11%. You're 11. <laughs> So this was a really cute, I, re I love doing these fuzzy birds. They got attitude. Yes, <laughs> I do. <laughs> Kathleen. Mm. Right. So I'm just going to, let's see, where did I have the shadow? 
Um, I think it was, it kind of looks like on the left. So we'll just put, Put it in here. Gotta have a hole for the birds. What's the point in having the birdhouse if you don't have a hole in it? <laughs> and I think um, perspective-wise, how would I want to do this? Maybe we'll see the bottom part. Or maybe a little bit of like this. And then we could just do a little bit of painting in there. I'm just going to take a, let's see, a little bit of brushes here and a little bit of probably umber color. Let me get that out again. Find it. Kathy, thanks for that. Oh, you got it already. That arrived yesterday. Oh, good. Awesome. Boy, you're, the mail sure goes to you guys quick. I can't believe that. No one else gets it that quick, Dot. It's funny. I'm just going to... It would be fairly dark in here, so I'm just going to... Not fill it in completely, but darken this area. Where the inside of the birdhouse would be. Like that. And maybe a little bit on, I'm going to speckle the edge here a little bit. And I'm going to make it a little bit darker if I can in here. Just they know you and I are important. <laughs> I'll, I'll go with that thought. <laughs> it sounds good. Hey, Janet. Good to see you. Hope your weather is cooperating over there. It's beautiful here today. It's going to be 16 Celsius, which is very warm compared to what we've had so there's a little i'm gonna make it darker i think i'm gonna add some black to that just a smidge just to darken it up a bit i guess i should dry that area just make the bottom part more dark than the top part. We just don't want a big black hole. 
something like that. And then the, the lines that were going on the boards, you'd see on the um, inside thickness of the, the wall. So let's see what we can do here. And it wouldn't be painted. So actually, I think I'll make that a little more brown in there. And then I'll just put some lines in it like that. Maybe lighten it a bit. Let's see what we got here. It's white. I forgot St. Patrick's Day. I, I should probably start drinking. <laughs> Just a bit of white in here. Oh, too much. Mix it with some brown. that and then we'll just put a um, line if you want to dry we'll dry it up put a line in and we're done I'm going to use the brown marker. So the line would be going, it goes up. And then if you're looking at the inside thickness of the wood, then you would see it going across, not up. Um, except this one here, which is um, going straight. And then this one might go like that. And... Mm, let's see. That's good enough. So that there's the. Oh, it's coming apart there. I'm gonna have to put some glue on that. I think. Okay, so I want to put the other painting here, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this on a separate piece of paper, and then I'm just going to. Uh, glue it in or not glue it in um, tack it in so if I want to I can actually remove it later so put that away and I think we'll use hmm, mixed media paper or watercolor paper whatever you have it should be a fairly um, heavy weight, though. Or file folders would work, too. Let's see if I can find where I put it. I might have to use a file folder. I'm not sure where I put all my paper. Use a file folder. So we can just take a file folder here and I'm going to cut it. I'm just going to take this tab off. And 
this one while I'm at it. Now the good thing about these landscapes, you don't necessarily have to do a detailed drawing. And they're very um, beginner friendly for those that want to try acrylics. I would suggest trying landscapes first. So this should work. So we'll start off step by step so you can follow along or you can just watch and try it later. But I'm not, I don't have a um, drawing for this and I'm not necessarily going to go exactly to the reference photo it's a reference it's not going to be a duplicate copy of what's here this is just to give me ideas on um, tree structure colors that I want to do I like the colors I like the mm, I would say this is kind of a gray mauvey color some dark um, umbers and almost going into a green black, some bright greens, some um, almost like an antique uh, white or it's almost got a little bit of a tan color in there too. I've uh, I have just eaten delicious lemon cupcake. Oh, you have the nicest neighbors. <laughs> Such nice neighbors, Dodd. You're very lucky. So when you're doing landscapes, you want to look to the distance first and work your way up. Hey, Devin. So in the distance, I see it kind of goes into this uh, shadowed, atmospheric-looking area in here. It's almost a grayish-blue, almost into the mauvey colors. And then um, when you're looking at something complex like this here, look at the medium color, so to speak, or the most dominant color that you're seeing. So in this here, I do see a medium, kind of a, a dark, um, I would call it tan. And then uh, there's speckles of, of darker color in there there's some lighter colors so what you want to do is just paint it don't think about every little detail you just want to get a base coat put on first so let's put uh, I have some uh, mink tan this is Americana paint just a craft paint and you can use whatever you have on hand don't go out and buy something special Use what you have. And because I'm just using this as a base coat, I'm not going to uh, put a, uh, a bunch of gesso on here because this is going to be a base coat. If you like using gesso, go ahead and do it. Um, this is just how I like doing mine. So that blue, or almost purpley, it's almost a, hmm, it's almost like, could go into, this is periwinkle blue. Let's use that. 
and then we can always darken it with a little bit of umber to darken it into a gray. So we've got periwinkle blue. We're going to use white. So I'm going to put some white off to the side here. And this water, there's more of that blue color in here. And we can uh, do our, to make it look like water, we could use the darker tones and the lighter as uh, how we put the water in. But I like this kind of dark, it's almost a purpley. So I'm going to use this uh, Cape Cod Blue in it. And uh, the reason why I'm doing that is water reflects the sky. Let's put some Cape Cod Blue here. Now with this part here, there's a lot of green in here and we could do a medium green, probably. So this is uh, avocado, it's a great color. Okay. And those are going to be our base colors. So if you want, you can put a, a, a bit of a, a guide line in here. So up in this area here, there's looks like rock or a hill going down. So, uh, so let's put in, there's the rock there. And it kind of swoops down and goes up a little bit. The uh, river kind of runs in through here and then widens. So it's fairly narrow in here. Kind of goes over a bit and there's a bunch of rocks and then it widens again. The fence, there's a fence here. Uh, so you got to think about your perspective. So post will be about there and then there's a real angle on that and then a little bit showing there's kind of a hill there there's another it's not a post but looks like just a two by six or whatever or one by six right there And then this kind of dips around there. So that's all you need. You don't have to get into detail. All right. So then I just take a fairly large brush. So one here. This is an angle. And I want to make up, I'm going to get another tray and make up the colors I want. So we're going to do this here. So let's this um, blue, this periwinkle blue and some white. Now we want a fair amount so we can cover this whole area. So try and make up what you think you'll use because you don't want to have to remix a color because it's, it's difficult getting the same shade. All right, so, and then I will just, I'm not even thinking about the trees. Then I'm just starting, we'll put this on here and I just want a base coat because remember 
there's going to be a lot of layers on this. So just the base coat. There we go. Okay, and then I want to darken that again. So let's take some more of this, some more white and blue, and make a a slightly darker color. It's a little bit more blue in there. Don't want too dark, but a little bit darker. Then on the bottom here, we'll put this in. So it's more or less in the in the bottom area. Now I'm going to take a little bit of white add it to my brush and just shade it in a little bit. I don't want to wet my brush. So I just take some paint off my brush with a paper towel and a little bit of white while your, your paint is still wet. Just to blend that in and, sh and uh, gradually lighten this area up a little bit. And this is sky, so you don't have to worry about if it's uh, too dark or too light. There could be clouds in there. But you do want a little bit of a difference in the blue. Now we'll do the um, other area. So that was the kind of a taupey color. And we're just going to fill in this area. And I'm not blending it with anything else. And the out of the, the outer edge is kind of, it's not smooth looking. So you could add some bumps and it's not a very smooth, it's, there's lots of rocks in here. So you can add some jagged areas. And it just goes over here. And this is just the base coat, remember. Um, a little bit in here, and then it kind of goes up through here. And I'm going to add a bunch of other colors to this. Don't worry too much about if you see more green or, or whatever. That's the nice thing about um, acrylics, is you can paint over top. We just want a base coat, kind of show where everything is. I'm going to just put something there. Like that, and then... the green part and add a little bit of white to it just a smidge and now I can put that green color in I'm not too worried about how it looks we're going to add that later all the details and the shading um,
Then I can make lumpy areas because it's a stream bed, so it's not going to be smooth looking. And instead of painting around things, it's easier if you just put that in again. But I know where it is because my reference photo shows it. So I'm not worried about covering that. All right. Now. Now I'm going to put um, this bluish color in here, the water. So again, don't worry about how it looks. It's just one coat for now. So there's going to be a lot of different colors going in here. This will give you an idea where everything is. I just want a base coat. Okay. All right, let's dry it now. So is anybody doing a special dinner for St. Patrick's Day? Or is it just a day like any other day. <laughs> we don't do anything special here. You're going out? Awesome. All right. Okay, so let's put some of these rocks in so we'll know where those are. So we're going to want to put these in, and they're, they're fairly dark. So you can use a, uh, they're not really edgy looking. So I'm going to use probably a filbert brush. Let's see. I want a fairly big one though. Um, I think this one should work. And I want kind of a dark, almost black, but not quite so I have let's see black green considering I forgot St. Patrick's Day we'll be eating the same kibble <laughs> okay so black green and what I'm going to do, I'll put it up here, I guess. We'll look at these uh, rocks in here. So uh, right about in here, there's a rock here. And I'm just, again, basically 
putting in um, just an area with a bunch of rock. Because I know that I'm going to be putting a whole lot more stones and moss and everything else. So if uh, these areas are just um, base coats of the rock. You don't have to be exact either. You can add some, take some away, whatever. Stick one there. Um, okay, that might could be a little bit bigger. And this here. It's just a reference to what I'm seeing. So if I want to take some stuff and, and um, take it totally out, I can. Right. All right, so let's look at this again. Looks pretty good. So I want to put some of these trees in. And these trees are kind of a almost a greeny umber color. So we're taking some of that umber and a little bit of that green and mixing it together. And then just put some of these in. So I have a big one here. And I'm just going to put it up here. And there's one on the edge here. I'm gonna take my, this brush is a little easier to use for making um, branches. The bigger branches are what you want to do. I'm not going to make them all the same. Um, this one's got a little bit more green in it. So I'm just going to add a little bit of green to it. That mix. And let's see. About there. Kind of twists in here. It's very odd looking tree branch. A little bit of 
white that. Just to lighten it a bit. As you go back, it gets lighter. It's more on the gray side. Could actually put some blue in there. Very gnarly looking trees. Bigger one on the side here. There's one at the back. Let's, let's put the one in the back first. I'm going to make that a little lighter. So I'm just mixing a light tone. This one kind of hides behind the other one. And then darken that with some black. This one sits in front. So there's lots of limbs on this one. Like that. Okay. Then I want to take a liner brush or a script brush. And take some of this light color again, maybe even lighter. And we'll do some of the, um, I should have done this first. And they're just behind the, when you're doing this, do those first. I could go back over. Eh, let's just go back over them. That'd be easier. Just make a bunch of um, tree in the background. I'm just going to go back over these so it's easier. But I'm not going down into the ground level. There's some squiggly ones. It's very, I don't know what kind of trees these are, but they're very, very squiggly. You can make as many or as few as you want. I'm going to make them even lighter. Get some real light ones in the background there. smaller. Cross some of them because they're, they're not all the, the same. And then some smaller. Just keep putting them in. And then we'll, we'll go over top of those. Um, other ones. You 
and we're crossing at the top part because that's where they would be um, sending out their limbs. So in the forest, they're, the limbs start to come out usually on the top part because they have to reach for the sun. All right, so let's try that. Okay, now I'm going to take a um, sea sponge, like this, and I'm going to get some of that real light color. So some of this green, white. I kind of want to make that... Um, more of a grayish blue color for the background. I'm going to put a little bit of black with that, that green black. That might work. Let's see. And I'm not going to worry about the trees. I am going to and then a little bit of black again here and there, just a little bit darker. All right, and dry that. All right, now let's take uh, that angle brush again and we'll fix those trees. Now we can uh, put them in a little easier. So some of the uh, more distant ones that you're seeing here, let's see. So they were a little bit darker, but and put a few of those in just to bring those back again. Okay, and then as you go towards you, they get a little darker. So we can put, uh, let's see, we have a bigger one in here. It's 
a little bit. And this one. I'm working from the back up. Okay, and then the darkest ones, this black green I'm using. of crossing each other like that and this one here it's actually got a well I'll do the green first like that this one here A little bit of smaller branches came off of it. There might be a few saplings. Here and there. This one. And then this one, that, few in here. So there's our trees, basically. Now there's some, it's pretty, we could always fix that up if we don't like it by putting some white in there. Um, let's leave it for now. Now we want to 
start doing some areas with a old brush or a deer foot stippler would be a good one. Let's see what I got here. I got a stippler right here, deer foot. It's old. I think the, yeah, <laughs> it's falling apart. But let's use it up. See what we can get. I want some green. And I think I'm going to put a little bit of yellow down too. This is kind of a gold. We'll start off um, in here, in this area here. So we got green areas, and I'll, I'll just go over the edges of those rocks. We can always um, go back and put those rocks back in, but it's actually some moss growing up along the trees. few areas in here. It's kind of just dab in. I think I want a smaller one. Just dabbing. That's not really doing it either. Hmm. Let's see what I got here. I might use a bristle brush instead. Let's see. Kind of have to find your own <laughs> brush. That's a little better. top here. A little bit of moss. More stippling than anything else that you need to do when you're doing this type of forest. Darker areas in there. Can use browns, a little bit of black. I just try different brushes till I find something I like. <laughs> Basically, the right mark. I want it. I want it kind of speckled. That's what you're seeing. I need some more green brown. And...
some speckled areas. Just go back and forth with different brushes. You could use sponges too if you wanted to use sponges. Just kind of have to play with it. Do it how you. You don't have to do it as as um, what would you say? Realistic. You could do it more impressionistic if if you want. That would be fine too. You do whatever you want. If you're just starting out, you might want to do it a few times. Sometimes it takes a while. just more or less um, looking at my lighter areas here. Take different um, paint brushes, give you a different mark too. Let's see.
Okay, so a little bit of yellow. Just dab, look at your shading and highlights, and you just keep going over it until you like what you have, basically. <laughs> Like I said, this isn't a an, an exact replica. This is just a reference for me to go by. Just dabbing. These are bristle brushes that I'm, I'm using. Just light touch.
Now I'm just looking at how the rocks are and putting a little bit of this on the top parts. Some, some would be a little bit more condensed than others. And you'd have shadows on some. Um, more of this. That's the leaves, you see. So you'd have dark and light mixed in there. Yeah, it's the it's the final touches, the playing with your dabs and in your highlights and that make it and the, like I said the nice thing is that the um, acrylics can always be added to taken away Just have to play with it a little bit. That goes there. A little split in the earth right here where the gate is. There. I'll put the gate or the fence in later once it I'm satisfied with most most of this. A few more darker areas. Mounds. This was kind of dark up here. Green areas in here.
So just remember your lights, your medium, and your darks. few more rocks in here. This one um, is fairly covered with grass and algae and whatever. It's mostly light on the top part. And around the edge kind of shines from the light. Same with this here is more or less brighter. There's a few light spots in here. The algae. on here. A few areas in here a little bit. I'm just looking at the real light light lights Bit on the rock, kind of on the top parts, you'll see a little bit of light. I'm just using the very edge of my very, very edge of my brush here. in there. And I think I need a little bit of bright. yellow in here. Just in just a little bit.
right. Now you see the blue that's here? That's reflecting the sky. So now we want to put darks and lights in. So that's our medium color. So this is when you want to have a bristle brush. And I think We'll do the darks first. So I got this um, black green again. And I'm just getting the bristle, bristles um, No, I'm not going to go all out and um, do every single thing. Now there is lines if you look at it. Just take a look at, is it speckled or are they lines? So there are some lines going in here and more speckled here. So there's a bit of a fall there. So right in here. And there. Kind of like the way the water is running. This is a little bit more condensed in dark here. And it actually has some um, greens in there. This is more speckled. There are a few little lines, but mostly speckled. There's a few lines in here. And then up here, and I'm just going to speckle some of it. Now I can always go back and put some more color in over top of it. So don't worry if it doesn't look right. It takes time and it's multiple layers. So now, let's see, take this as a mixing tray. I want some white. And there's almost a, a beige color in there too. So I could take some of that beige again. This I used in my leaves. And there is a bit of that in there. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that in there also. So it's probably reflecting some trees, whatnot, in there. And there's also a bit of that green and yellow in here. Okay. Take a brush, put some of that back in. So we got a little bit of, of a rock there. So I can have a smoother edge on it because it's against the water. Like that. here and you can add more lines or whatever in this Okay, let's 
do some white. And we have same thing. We've got some lines. It's kind of a bluish white, though. It's not really a white white. So I'm going to add some of that blue to it. And again, not as many in this area here, but there is there. And then there's kind of speckles in here. And then you'll see a lot of it in here, along here. So I'm probably going to need a little bit of a smaller brush to do this part. So a bristle brush of some sort, or mm, something stiff, this will do. some swirling in here. You can add a little bit more there. I want this right in here where it dips down. Oop, that's too much. And then it here. Go in there. It's kind of rapid. It's a little, I'm going to add some more um, in here. It's a little bit lighter as we go up. Just a few more lines in here. Take some more of, of um, beige, and the blue, or brighter right here, a few in there, a few in here, not a lot, but a few brighter ones, like that, Now I can take my um, green again, do finish the rocks off a little bit. 
make them a little smoother looking. Let's see. Or even add some. There's a few in here. Add a little bit of dark in here. Just a little bit more. A little bit more dark in here. This is the black green I'm using. Just smoothing out some of those areas where I might have put just a bit too much white over top or too much green. Maybe a few more rocks in there. Okay, now let's put that fence in. The fence is easy. Um, so I'm just going to use this filbert. And it looks like it's on an, an angle. Like that. And this one goes in about here. And then there was a smidgen showing there. Like that. And then this one goes like that. bit more. Okay. And then there's a crossbar right here. Like that. Um, where's that? There. There's actually a little tree A sapling I'm going to put in. Okay. 
kind of growing out right here. And then the tops of that are highlighted. A little bit on the side there. That. And then uh, I can take a bristle brush again and just add a little bit of kind of a greeny. Let's see. They're moss. It's mossy looking. Um, so it's a little bit of that brown, kind of a dirty, mossy color. And it's just like a dry brush. I'll show you in a minute what I did. Mm, don't really see it on the other ones, but I'm going to just put a bit. Okay. And then there's just a bit of grass you see around the edge of it. So I'm just going to put a few little wisps on the edge of this thing here. Just to give it a little bit, I gotta I gotta finish this part here. So that was that taupey color, and or not taupey, more of a fawn. What's it called? Um, mink tan, they call it. So. Just to finish this off, and then a little bit of green here and there. Bit of dark in it. Mix your greens up because it makes it nicer looking when you got uh, multiple shades of green. And I always do that. I mix on the painting itself. Put yellow. And then a little bit of black or green, that green black. Put in there. Maybe a little bit of white.
few more lighter areas in here. Uh, looks to me like it's time to get the coffee ready to <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're funny, Dot. Take that round. See if we can get some. Puffy round areas. In the background here. There's kind of like. Bumps. Just a few, just the very um, edge of some of these rocks, it's very bright. This one here has got that bright yellow over it. And then there, some of these trees have a highlight also on them. Um, there's actually, I didn't put this in.
So it's just, you could do this for hours. Just adding stuff. But you gotta get, um, you gotta be careful because you can overwork it too. Just trying to get some of this um, yellow in the other areas. Okay, so let's do some little bit of streaking in the trees with a bristle brush. Um, these aren't too bad. I think I'm going to put a little bit of brown in these ones though. And I want a dry brush so I'm just lightly putting some of that in. Just dry brush. Just gives it a little bit more interest. Um, this one here has a little bit of kind of a grayish color. Right in here on the one side. that. This one could a little bit more, I think, like that. Okay, and now I'm going to take my liner brush and there's just a few twigs um, light colored stems that type of thing they're sticking out here and there more I they're probably dead Put some of those in. Sometimes they um, make a difference. Uh, let's see if I got a marker I can use. 
Mm, kind of a gray probably would be the best. gray mm. light enough that you can see it Let's see what I got here colored pencil so just a few twigs really I'm gonna put a little bit black in here. I'm going to make a little rock here, I think. Actually, this could be darker. Right here would be shadowed. Here. A little bit of a rock here. Okay, and then some more, just a few twigs, that type of thing. I'm going to put some moss on the tree there. Uh, let's see. Twigs. Because there would be, you know, twigs in the grass. Here and there. This is just a paint marker that I'm using. All right, and a bit of moss in the tree. So I want a green and some yellow. So I'm just, I want it flared open. lightly just go up the tree a little bit maybe a little bit on here and this one a little bit What else? What else? I think this can have a highlight on it a little bit. 
And I need white. A little bit black. Just going to make a little bit of a highlight on this rock here. Maybe a little bit of green, just a smidge to show the, it's not totally just a rock. It's Black on my brush. I'm just gonna dab and make a bunch of weird marks just here and there in the front where the leaves would be showing. You want some dark areas in the brush and the And then there's a little bit of highlight on the trees, so I'm going to do a little bit of yellow on this. And as you can see, there's a little bit of a highlight down the side of the tree. So it's more or less dry brushed, a little bit wet, but more on a dry brush side. So I'm very lightly so I kind of hit and miss. You know, a little bit on these, just a smidge here and there. This one. bit darker. No, nope, too much. Take it off. There. Maybe marker. Uh, thin marker. Green, maybe this will work. Let's see, or a light. Oh, that's, uh -huh. Yeah, it might work. Just kind of scratchy. This one's almost running out, but it's working. It's kind of scratchy looking, but it'll work. For what I want. I don't want a, a definite hard line. I could use a colored pencil though. Let's see. Just here and there. Oh, 
that. I think that'll do. Just helps um, separate some of the trees too, some of the limbs where they're sitting. I think that should do. I suppose I could highlight a few of these. Maybe take a um, cream brown color. Let's see. Put a few um, marks in the rocks that you would see some of the rock colors. Um, I can see some of the tops of these. So let's put a little bit of that in there. And in here a little bit. There, I think it's done. All right. So any questions? So there's the water. A little bit of, you could add more and more to this. Um, Depends how much detail you want. You could put a bunny in there. You could put birds. You could put actually a person if you wanted to in a silhouette. A leprechaun. <laughs> All kinds of stuff. So there's that one. And as you saw, it's mostly about base color. So putting your bases down and then adding detail on top is basically all. And it's all about texture. So I used a lot of bristle brushes, sponge, and then liners and a bit of colored pencils. So I hope you'll try it. Now, don't expect it to turn out the first go, because um, it probably won't, but it'll give you practice on how to use your brushes or your sponges and pressures that you have to apply. So give it a try, and um, I'd love to see it when you're done. And uh, have a fantastic weekend. Hopefully it's warmer for you guys. It's going to be a little bit warmer. Oh, thanks, Devin. Thanks, Dot, Joan, everybody. It's, it's just a matter of practice. You can do this. It's this really, I'm not kidding. This isn't 
a real difficult one because there's not a lot of fine detail work. It's more texture using your tools. Thanks, Icy. All right. So, yeah, have fun, Dot, on your quiz night. And we'll see you next Tuesday at 1 o'clock Eastern. And uh, have a fantastic, creative day, everybody. Bye for now.